I'm Matt. I'm Carrie. We are the Stagmer Brothers of Baltimore Knife and Sword. Our work can be seen on film, Broadway, and at Renaissance festivals around the country. We're going to be taking some of your favorite weapons to mash up into hybrids you've never seen before. This is Man at Arms Reforged. You've seen Tony create the Batarangs and Wolverine's Claws. This week, we're going to combine them into one. For this build, I had to put myself in the mindset of Bruce Wayne. How would he make himself Wolverine Claws? I think he would make the Claws Batman symbols. We have lots of different symbols to choose from. I'm going to go with the most recent one. I think he'll be able to get a devastating set of Claws. One of the first things we do on a complicated build is we have Ilya sketch the initial part. The key point of making gauntlets is the articulation. The gauntlet has to be able to do this, as well as punch and smash stuff in a brutal, non-gentle manner. Ilya marks the pieces to cut for articulation. Hopefully everything will work. Now it's time to cut this stuff. It'll be cut to shape on the Beverly Shear. When we're making parts where we need multiples of the same thing, one of the easiest ways for us to do that is to use the CNC computer that controls the plasma cutter. Here, John is able to duplicate that part a second and a third time and stay very true to form. It's perfectly fine to cheat and use the computer. What I'm doing, you cannot cheat because patterns vary with the shape of the hand. You're contradicting everything I just told him. Because it's armor, it's a different damn thing. Go hop a Sharpie or something, I don't know. Large curved sections on the armor are formed over a ball stake. This ball stake was actually made for us by Tony Swat. Using our slack belt machine, John smooths the edges on the batarang. John then hands the batarang off to me for deburring and edging before heat treating. To heat treat the batarangs, we put them in the gas forge and bring them up to critical temperature and then take them out and quench them into oil so that they'll harden and accept an edge. After heat treating, we grind and polish out the batarang. Matt's taking them to the Bader grinder to reduce the surface until it's clean and then polish them out. After Ilya forms the parts for the gauntlet, he hand flutes them over a stake with a hand hammer. Using a swage in the power hammer, Sam ropes and pineapples the hand. Using a custom stake that Ilya made, he forms the knuckles using a hammer. Raising is the process by which you shrink the metal around the stake rather than thin it out into a cavity. We're TIG welding the back claws onto the knuckle portion of the gauntlet. TIG stands for the tungsten inert gas. Ilya does a rough fitting of the gauntlet to check the articulation. Articulation here works, and the sliding rivets are operational. Halfway done. We make a vulcanized rubber mold of the rivets for the Dark Knight gauntlet. Ilya grates some soap to use as an oxygen blocker while heat treating. This is a trick I learned from goldsmith Tom Herman. Ilya uses a special furnace we built to heat treat the gong. We use Ajax AAA fast quench oil for heat treating. Using the scotch right wheel, Ilya cleans up the parts of the gauntlet to prepare for bluing. Gun bluing all the parts for the gauntlet is a long and steady process. Using a scotch bright pad, Ilya applies the chemical gun blue. To keep the finish even, Ilya has to continuously rub the surface with a scotch bright pad as he applies the bluing to the parts. After Ilya is done bluing each piece, he hands them to me to clean and oil.
complexity of this build, with all its articulating and moving parts, was a real test for the shop's skills. This build really set the bar high for the rest of this season. Batman wields this gauntlet, the criminals of Gotham better watch out. know what you want to see the guys build so tell us in the comments below what hybrid weapon you want to see created next and to make sure you don't miss it please hit that subscribe button